Parnell Davis. I'm from Columbus Junction, Iowa. I train at Hard Drive Mixed Martial Arts and I mix it up with the guys here at Skunk River Grappling Dojo. Every fight that, I, that I've ever had and every fight that I'll, I'll, I'll ever have is, is for one purpose, is for using my talents and gifts to glorify Jesus. After I knock down my opponent to help him up and show him that, you know, there is a God and that, uh, you know, Jesus loves him and, and Jesus loves everybody in that facility, everybody in that building. His way to the cage, Parnell Davis. Parnell, he's obviously the hometown favorite. You know, everybody lost their mind when the video started. You know, the, 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 the crowd is definitely in it for Parnell. But at the same token, Delph had quite a lot of uh, fans come down from the Quad City area, and they, they made some noise when he came out as well. Yeah, the last time um, we've seen Parnell, uh, I believe, was last year here at Catfish Bend. Yep. And it didn't go his way. And I'm sure that left a sour taste in his mouth, you know, with the, having the hometown crowd behind him. And I'm sure he wants to right those wrongs or get that taste out of his mouth tonight. Again, redemption in his hometown. But he's got his hands full as well, like we said, against a, a strong, good Ryan Delph. But I'm excited to see what he can do with that year layoff as well tonight. And I'd just like to point out, last time that he made an appearance here at Catfish Band, he had missed weight that time also. So, wow. you know, you see people, after a year, you miss weight again at the same weight class, same restrictions you got to make it to. So, it's, you know, it's kind of one of those things you got to look at how you're training, how you're eating, how you're living, and you got to make adjustments. If you want to take this serious and you want your opponents to take you serious, then you got to take it serious. It's not like he didn't know this fight was happening. You know, that he's, he's known about this fight for several months now, I'm sure. And, and uh, to not be able to get down to weight or even close, you know, 25 pounds, that's a, that's a lot of weight to be missing by. And in the heavyweight division, you're going from 265 pounds to 215 above. So these guys, they have plenty of room to be able to make that weight. You know, a lot of people, they just, they get lazy in their off time. Yeah. They think I, only I mean, when granted, the fight's coming up, they need Arnell to be is a camp. big boy naturally anyways. Yes. But, and maybe you should find a super heavyweight fighter to fight you. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Uh, what I look like, a uh, significant weight difference. Pretty technical, as you see a huge overhand right cut, low ankle pick. And that's a lot of weight on top of you. Exactly. He does a great job standing back up, not allowing that weight to rest yes. on him. Yeah. Still a lot of energy getting up with that lot of yeah, weight on top of you that's there. That's no joke, but power lifter, he's used to having that weight on his back, just squatting it up. You know, that... How many people in the heavyweight division would have been able to get up right there without that? Oh, you know? gave up his back there, slipped off. He got a trip mm -hmm. there. Now he's starting to hear the crowd get behind him. And that's going to help him, you know, hearing that. You know, that gives you that extra motivation to, to you know, to keep going. For, do it for the crowd, you know. When you hear people believing in you, it makes you believe a lot more in yourself, too. Doesn't matter what you're doing, fighting family at the end of the round it's going to win you the round yep. and then we got about 30 seconds left and Parnell's in a good position here and add on to it too don't just stop just because you land your punch keep going once oh, you land one shot. you're going to land more oh good uppercut by Parnell Parnell finally using his range this would be a good time for Bruce to step in but you know this is good for Parnell this is good for Parnell right here in this position he can be winning this round Oh, nice little spinning elbow and a good knee by Parnell. Nice spin by the big man there. Don't see that much with the uh, you don't. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to your judges scorecard for our decision. All three judges scored this contest 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Parnell Davis! Some of yours are exceptional. Why don't you tell us why you do this thing, Parnell? Listen, guys, first of all, I apologize for my butt crack showing like the majority of the fight. I gotta get a six pack. But listen, listen, listen. Hey, guys, I do this for one reason, and that's to glorify my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
How many of you in here, listen, listen, listen. How many of you in here have an authentic, real relationship with Jesus? Stand up. Listen, listen. Hey, for everyone sitting, listen. If you don't have a relationship with you, stay standing, stay standing. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, I want you to find one of the people that you see standing up and ask them how you can know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He loves you. God bless you. Jason, I appreciate you. I love you, brother. Thank you, Parnell. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner one more time, Parnell Davis.